Hello guys, welcome to practice test training. In this session, we will learn about the reporting module of practice test. So in order to go to reporting module in practice test, just click on the reports tab at the top and you will see the reporting module open. So on the reporting page, you will see the report center, which is beta, um, which is not yet in the prod, so most probably in further upcoming releases this new report center will be available and then there is old report center so old report center is the current report module that that's there in the prod so for example if you go to report to create a report using the old reporting center just click on new report and then just say test report and then you can select the report entity. So for example, you want to report for the issue or the test or test set or the instance or requirement, you can select accordingly. So I want uh, an issue report um, with no filter or if you want to filter out. So for example, you want to filter all issues or you want to just filter in like the fixed issues or the open issues. So you can choose the filter accordingly. So I'll say I just want a report of the rejected issues. Then you can select the report type, which is tabular or detailed. If you select a detailed report, then it will ask you to select the fields that you want to add in the reports. Otherwise, just go for the tabular and it will show you the report in the tabular format. You can also add graphs in your reports. For example, you want to add the available graph so you can just select the graphs graph so I'll say add issue by status and then just click on create report and you will see that new report for the filter rejected has been created in HTML and PDF format so if you click on the PDF icon you'll see the tabular report being generated and then the graphs that we chose have been mentioned uh, have been printed in the report as well so this is um, the old report that uh, was supported by practice test now if you want to clone the old report so for example this report that we just generated you can edit it you can clone it so if you want to edit you just click on this small icon here to edit this report if you want to clone or create similar report just click on this small icon here and it will create a similar report to delete a report you just click on this small delete icon right. most probably in the new upcoming releases a new reporting center will be available so this is the new reports engine uh, we'll cover what the changes and what are the upgrades in the new report center so to create a new report we're using the new reports engine just click on this new report button here provide the name test report new reporting engine i'll just say um, you can select the entity similar way as it was in the old report you can filter the issues by status or by you know, like assigned uh, or just don't allow any filter you can select the report type tabular or detailed and then if you want if you are choosing detailed then we'll ask for you know, like whether you want to include the history or include the comments or the traceability so you can choose all or you, based on what you require in the report you can choose accordingly then the new thing available in the new reporting engine is you can schedule the report so if you select schedule it will it can be scheduled for daily weekly or monthly this is very important feature because you for example you're working on a big project and wherein you have lots of issues reported every day you would like to have that issue or defect um, tracking and reporting to the key stakeholders on a daily basis or weekly basis so what you can do is you can schedule the report out of practice test and it will notify 
the, the relevant stakeholders um, based on whom you choose in the next section here so if you say it says you want to notify so select whom to notify so you, you can say you want to notify Anna um, and Pete Joy just select those and then click on schedule and daily uh, and the report will run every day at 6 a.m. so every day um, will be scheduled and report gets generated and everyone will have the detail around the issue report that you that you have uh, scheduled uh, in the in their inbox um, the other option is to generate the manual report which will create the manual report immediately so I'll remove everyone from here just keep myself and then just go ahead and create the report with the new reporting module you see the red icon here uh, that means it's the report generation is still in progress um, and the small icons here you can rerun this report on the latest data so you don't need to create the same report again you can just rerun with the latest data you just click on this icon and it will uh, pick the latest data and rerun the report you can also clone this report so if you want similar report with little bit of tweaks just click on this clone button and it will create a clone of that particular report if you want to edit that particular report click on this edit icon and deletion of the report is pretty simple just click on this delete icon and it will delete the report so now this uh, issue report has been generated click on this download excel file and it will show you the report detailed report for that issue so that's pretty much about the reporting module in practice test in further sessions we'll deep dive into the settings and into the customization of practice test